Today we are ranking MLB rookies on a tier list. Let's get into the video. Subscribe. We are going to go by team. I'm going to tell you about every team's kind of group of rookies and where I'd rank them. We're also going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. Starting in AAA, it's kind of cliche. I know the A's go to AAA. I thought Mason Miller actually counted as one of their rookies, but according to baseball reference, he actually does not. So when we talk about the rookies, we're talking about Mitch Spence, Mike's talking about Mitch Spence, Max Showman, Michael Otanias. A lot of guys who really aren't doing much. Kyle McCann, I guess in 43 games has been fine. Just not really anything very good at all. The Mets also go in AAA. Uh, Jose Buto does count. Uh, he just let a big tank yesterday to Jerks and Profar, but outside of that, they don't actually have many rookies that have actually played for for them this year but Buto has been pretty good nothing really on the hitting side so yeah triple a kansas city i know you're gonna think oh very young team a lot of young players playing pretty well they don't really have any rookies you probably barely heard of any of their rookies that have actually played for them you know bobby's in like whatever his third year now melendez guys like that they're all not rookies anymore so they're not really getting much from their rookies even cole reagan's people forget played with texas the last year so he's not a rookie the last one is colorado also surprisingly not really a lot of rookies that have played for this team because everyone who's young on their team is still, again, not a rookie. I mean, like, even Hunter Goodman, who's got some kind of name to him. I mean, just not playing very well right now. Greg Jones, five at bats, doing pretty well. How about you? All right, let's bump it up its tier here to meh. I'm going to start the White Sox, and they're better than these four teams. A guy like Drew Thorpe, who's been kind of up and down. He's got the upside. He's played decently for a really bad team. Yeah, guys like Kai Bush. At one point, Corey Lee was playing pretty well. Now his OPS is kind of in a bad spot, but... I don't know. It's better than these teams for sure. We'll bump them up a tier. I think the Angels also go in this tier. Again, a lot of their young guys aren't rookies anymore. Oh, Hoppy, Neto, guys like that. Not rookies. I think the Twins go in here as well. Uh, Simeon Woods Richardson, I know he started out the year well. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know, actually know what his stats are right now. So Simeon Woods Richardson is actually having a pretty decent year, and he does count as a rookie for them. He's pretty much about it. Seattle also goes in this tier. Kind of known for like bringing up guys and having them perform, but you've got one pretty good one. Emerson Hancock's been pretty good. Cade Marlowe, I guess, is giving them something in hitting, but not very much. Probably above average for their team, though, because they cannot hit. I don't know. Overall, it's just fine. We are going to go up a tier here, and I guess I can kind of put a couple teams together here. We can kind of start moving. I'll start with the Phillies. The Phillies go in this tier. You think of guys who are actually rookies for them, like Weston Wilson, who's playing out of his mind, but old rookie, yeah, I guess he's giving them a good performance. Then you got guys like Tyler Phillips, who they kind of had their Lynn Sanity run kind of come to an end pretty quickly. Michael Mercado, guys like that. Orion Kirkring, really good. He counts as a rookie. It's fine. I don't know. You, I guess you could argue good, but I don't think you could argue meh, but I'd say this is probably right for them. Braves, pretty good. Out of their like three pitchers, Schwellenbach's playing the best and probably really the only one who's playing that well. Nacho Alvarez, I guess, has been fine. I don't think he's what the Braves need right now. Yeah, I think that they deserve to be here as well. I think Detroit goes here. I think they had some hope. They signed Colt Keith to that contract, and I mean, he's been better recently, but his season numbers are just kind of average, and for a rookie, I guess it's fine, but nothing really much coming from them. Weird to say this. I think the Dodgers go here because you got guys like Gavin Stone who count as rookies for them and he's just not been great a lot of those guys have not been great Yamamoto got hurt Andy Pajas has really fallen off he's a below league average hitter now so yeah I think they kind of come back down here to mid I think right now the Marlins go here I know that they're having start guys start to heat up like Connor Norby looks like he's might be real for them Kyle Stowers I guess he's been fine I don't know they have a lot of bulk no one's really playing exceptionally well I think they go here I think Tampa Bay also goes here another team that probably could be on the rise because Caminero is here and he's playing pretty well I think you could probably argue good for them as well but i'm gonna keep him here and then texas uh evan carter playing better as of recently after his injury he started off the year really poorly why langford just not having a very good year and those two have really dealt with injuries a lot too those are your two big pieces and they just really didn't play well probably part of the reason why the rangers aren't as good this year all right we keep moving we're going up a tier to the good we're gonna start with the diamondbacks i think you could also argue that they'd be a bump down a tier justin martinez closer absolutely disgusting adrian dale castillo i guess for what he's played he's been really good like blaze alexander has been kind of disappointing you got a couple of guys who are playing pretty well again i think you could definitely argue that they get bumped down but i think they could go here to good i think boston will come here as well another one that's just kind of like they got a couple guys playing fine but there's a couple big ones like wiley or abreu is like playing really really well for them and i guess sedan Raphael also counts as a rookie and he's been a pretty good piece for them too there's a reason why they're contending kind of this year young guys had to be a piece of it in the cubs go here you think shota is actually a rookie pca playing a little better as of recently his season numbers aren't great but he's just kind of a freak athlete i guess outside of that there's not a whole lot left but 
I mean, those two guys alone probably give you enough to think it's good. Cincinnati goes here and good. Why is Reese Hines not playing? I don't know if I missed that he got hurt or something. Yeah, he probably did. He went on that run, those 40 at bats. He's going ridiculous. But then you got like Noel V. Marte, guys like that. I think that they're getting pretty good performances out of their rookies. We'll go to Houston. You guys like got guys like Spencer Aragetti who are going to count into this equation. Before they traded him, Joey Loperfito was playing really well for them too. So you think about like what overall the rookies that have played for them this year have done. It's been pretty good. San Francisco goes in good and it could be into great. Tyler Fitzgerald is real. That guy is a real power threat. Before he got hurt, Jung Hu Lee was in there as well. I forget like the Japanese players count as rookies. Kyle Harrison, big lefty. Yeah, it's been pretty good for them. They probably could have an argument for grace. Tyler Fitzgerald borderline kind of turned around their season. They're kind of back towards content. I think the Cardinals going good. This one I really debated with myself. I wanted, I was thinking between that good and mid just because Mason Wynn has really fallen off a lot recently. Like his OPS is back below 700. But I mean, you think about a guy like that who impacts ga the game in so many other ways than just that. The hitting, they're not really doing very much on that front right now unfortunately. A lot of rookies have played for this team, though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to bump them down to mid, just because Mason Wynn's not having as good a... Then we got one more. It's the Blue Jays. Ever since Loper Fido came over, he hasn't been the same, but it's the other guys that are really kind of stepping up for them right now. Will Wagner playing pretty well. I forget. I was at the game the other day. It was Ernie Clement. I don't know if he's a rookie or not. That dude hit a pitch that was above his head for a home run. It was ridiculous. Like, Luis De Los Santos, I guess it's like no at-bats, but Spencer Horowitz is a pretty big one he's got significant playing time he's been pretty good you find pieces like that who can kind of help you in the next couple of years it's pretty good let's move up a tier to the teams that kind of have a real real impact with their rookies the guardians i'm going to start with them because it's really one this guy john kensey noel is ridiculous he absolutely destroys baseballs while other guys like manzardo have not been really that great noel is making a huge difference for them for the brewers it's a guy like chorio who really been better as of recently and Joey Ortiz, who, besides when he was hurt, like, he's been really good. Ever since coming back, he was not as... Ever since he came back, he's not been as great. But, like, that's a real impact third baseman, especially the first half. Debated with myself... Yankees going great could go to elite. I don't think Ben Rice is playing that well, and he's getting a lot of run at first base, kind of lowering him down. Austin Wells, awesome, awesome, awesome. Luis Seal has also been like really good for this team. So they could be elite if you ask me. I think it's either one. I'm not going to argue with you. Last one that goes in great, I'm going to put the Nationals. Guys like James Wood, Dylan Cruz will make his debut tonight. So that'll be really cool. But yeah, the young guys are giving him performances for the Nats, especially like James Wood. Like that's the biggest one. Three elite teams. It's the O's, it's the Pirates, it's the Padres. Now, I was looking at the O's and I was thinking, have the rookies really helped them a lot this year? Yes, dude. Like, Jordan Westberg, he counts as a rookie. Ridiculous. Jackson Holiday has been silly ever since getting called back up. I mean, the names just go on and on. The Orioles have so much young depth. The Pirates, it's really one. And honestly, you probably could convince me to switch the Yankees and Pirates. Paul Skeens is just such a big difference maker that he had. they have to go into elite. And then the Padres, it's the same thing. Jackson Merrill is such a ridiculous difference maker that they have to go into elite. So it's like these two have two, like one guy each that are just ridiculous. The Orioles have a bunch of depth. But those are definitely the three elite to me. Me. That's the tier list ranking every MLB rookie or the groups of rookies. Let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Have a great day. Enjoy the baseball. God bless. <laughs>